In this lecture, we will learn about public cloud. The public cloud generally has massive computing resources and storage and is easily scalable. Public cloud providers generally provide platforms for almost all cloud services. For example, public cloud providers provide infrastructure as a service, which means you can launch virtual machines on the cloud, such as a Linux machine, Windows machine, or even a Mac machine, which is possible on Amazon Web Services. Public cloud providers also provide platform as a service, which means, for example, you can launch databases on the cloud. Also, they provide software as a service, which means you can leverage software as a service applications offered by cloud providers. The public cloud is recommended for developing cloud-based applications for globally distributed teams because the public cloud helps collaborate with cloud resources. You also have flexibility. For example, once the application development is complete and you need to move the final application to a more secure private cloud, you can do that easily. Flexibility, easy accessibility, and scalability of computing resources are the main features of the public cloud. Cloud computing providers such as Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud are the main examples of public cloud providers. Let's look into the pros and cons of public cloud. Public cloud provides most of the advantages of cloud computing, such as a pay-as-you-go model and on-demand availability of all kinds of cloud services worldwide. The only drawback of public cloud is that the provider owns resources. In that sense, there is a single point of failure if something goes wrong at the provider's end. For example, if the provider goes out of business.